In today's video, we're gonna talk about 7 things that you probably didn't know about Substance Painter. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 7. It was acquired by Adobe. Back in January 2019, Adobe announced that it had acquired Algorithmic, the company behind all the Substance tools and Substance Painter itself. A move that made a lot of sense at the time. First because Adobe decided to continue the 3D functionality in Photoshop and the fact that they were starting to build interest in the 3D industry. With the release of tools such as Adobe Dimension for example and also because the Substance tools were complementary to the tools Adobe had, such as the one that we just mentioned. With 3D content becoming more popular following the rise of NFTs and the metaverse as well as AR, VR and 3D becoming more in demand in graphic design plus the growth of industries like video games we are experiencing for decades, we can only say that the acquisition of Substance Tools was a significant move forward for Adobe. Many more Substance Tools were released after the acquisition, such as the recently published Substance 3D Modeler and Substance 3D Stager. Also, Adobe permanently turned off access to all Substance accounts, including the old Substance Share website. And of course, they did not disappoint and it took them no time to transform Substance to their subscription-based model. So now, all subscriptions and software are purchased and managed via the Adobe accounts. Number 6. Substance Painter wasn't the main product of the company. Substance Painter wasn't the main product of Algorithmic, since their main product was Substance Designer, which is a node-based software that is made for creating tieable materials and textures. It all started between 2010 and 2012, when they began getting the attention of 3D artists and the industry as a whole, after integrating the Substance tool sets into various 3D software for free, which was also the start of the first versions of Designer. And in 2013, with the help of some of the deals that Algorithmic signed with some of the big developers such as Naughty Dog and Ubisoft, they began to work on Substance Painter 4, which later became the first commercially successful software. A big reason for the popularity of the software was the physically based materials which were starting to become the standard following the debut of the latest generation of consoles at the time, such as the PS4 and the Xbox One, putting Substance Designer directly inside multiple AAA productions, as it was the first PBR ready texturing tool that appealed to the industry at large. That success later led to the creation of Substance Painter, which was intended to be a feature within Substance Designer 5. However, that eventually turned into a standalone software because it made far more sense for the company. And with Substance Painter's success, it's difficult to argue with that decision. Number 5. It was created by a university student. Substance Painter was created by Algorithmic, a French software company that was founded in 2003 by Sebastian de Goy after completing his university thesis. The first four years were spent on research and development and they only began developing the software in 2007 after receiving some funding from a strategic investor. They first released a program called ProFX, a tool that was used to reduce the size of downloaded files of the MMO games of the time, and that is by creating small size textures while still maintaining quality and without affecting the performance. Then they gradually moved to work on different stuff, such as Substance Designer and of course Substance Painter later in 2014 meaning that Algorithmic were interested in 3D texturing from the start, making them pioneers in the field, and a big part of this revolution and what it is today. Number 4. It revolutionized the CG industry. Substance Painter was responsible for a revolution in the CG industry, because before its release, it was difficult to paint directly on a 3D model, and even though we had software like Mudbox for example, which offered texture painting solutions way before the release of Substance Painter, it was not as refined, practical, or as simple. Algorithmic with Substance Painter solved a big problem that other software and industries had for a long time, and with all the tools it has that are available to help us achieve photorealistic results rapidly. With a lot of tools such as smart materials and smart masks, Substance Painter became a revolution in the field, making it a must-have 3D software for any artist. It was also a software created specifically for texturing, which was unique and very unusual back then, making it a tool that led to the creation of many more of its kind, such as Quixel Mixer for example. It is by far the cheapest commercial 3D software. 
Substance Painter is one of the most affordable products that are used by large companies. Since it has been released, it has been integrated in the pipelines of a large number of major game studios as well as VFX, architecture and product design companies among others. Just to give you an example, it was used in a lot of AAA game studios like Horizon Forbidden West, The Last of Us and the Call of Duty games, where Substance Painter was used to texture a lot of assets in these games, which helped to make them look more realistic with all the surface imperfections and details that are needed to create these games. These assets include different types of vehicles in Call of Duty games as well as popular characters in popular games. Number 2. It is completely non-destructive Substance Painter is a non-destructive software. In other words, you can undo, edit or delete any action at any time without losing your work. As an example, let's say you are texturing a sci-fi 3D model and you added edgeware and then some rust on top of it. You can edit or delete the edgeware without affecting or damaging the rust, meaning you can change or rearrange your painting effects without destroying the rest of it giving you an efficient workflow to experiment with. Also, when you want to load a different model, like another version of your current model for example, or assigning the same custom material, the materials can adapt to the new model. Number 1. It is the most popular texture painting tool Substance Painter is by far the most popular and the best texture painting software. It offers a set of features very few software can offer. First of all, the ability to texture models in real time for either photorealistic or stylized results, but also other features such as the non-destructive workflow that we just talked about, plus the dynamic smart materials and masks that generate stunning textures instantly, meaning that you can right away produce photorealistic textures with just a few clicks. This, in addition to the powerful painting engine it has and the other advanced set of tools, in addition to the rich library that comes with it, which you can improve even further with all the free resources that are regularly uploaded by the community, and all the different types of generators, brushes, alphas, and special tools such as particle brushes, this, in addition to the various kinds of UV projections, and how easy it is to do texture painting and export textures, and importing 3D models and maps. And all of this makes Substance Painter one of the best software of its kind. Even though it was released only 8 years ago, no software can come close to challenging its dominance of the field, because it is now really popular and really good and a lot of studios and individuals are integrating it into their pipelines. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.